Hi guys, it's Jonathan from Smart Home Sounds, a home audio retailer based in the UK, and we've been making videos like this for a while now to help you find the right speaker. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Sony SRS XB33 portable Bluetooth speaker, which we've been using for a few weeks now. We are extremely lucky to add Sony as one of our brands in our catalog, and we were so impressed by this little speaker that it deserves its own review. So without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, I'll pop the QR code for this speaker up on the screen somewhere around about here. So if you're watching me on your TV or laptop, we've made it really easy now. Just scan the screen using your phone camera to check out the product page for more info. Um, or if you prefer the old school way, or if you're on your phone, there is of course a link below. If you forgive it for its rather unmemorable name, I would say it's a dark horse in the portable speaker category, because when we mention Sony, we think of TVs, Playstations, headphones, and lots more, but we wouldn't necessarily think of Sony for portable speakers. But the SRS XB33 actually has quite a lot going for it with a sound quality that is perhaps a little bit better than how it looks. So on the box, on the box, you'll notice the main message is extra bass, which we'll come on to a bit later on. So our first reaction upon unboxing the speaker was that it was larger than the packaging gives the impression of, but it's also weighty enough that it gives you confidence that it's built well. Now it uses a fabric grill, and when you feel it, you'll notice there's virtually no movement from it, so it is quite rugged. Now on the edges, you have the Sony logo on the top of these bass drivers that fire outwards, which is surrounded with this leather edging around the sides. So on the bottom, you've got these handy rubber feet for keeping nice and stable on a surface, or you can stand it upright um, like this if you're a bit more limited for space. Then if we look at the top panel touch controls, you've got the power button, um, you've got the Bluetooth pairing button, you've got the play pause, and you've got the volume up and down. You've also got this live mode, which is for bringing your music to life to give you a three-dimensional experience. It does work quite well, actually. What's also cool is that you can use this as a speaker for your phone calls too, as it has a microphone built in. So let's move on to some of the key features of the XB33. So it's IP67 weather rated, so it's fully waterproof and it's salt water resistant, so you can use it by the pool, the sea, in the desert, in the forest, or pretty much anywhere on earth. It shouldn't attract dust either, as it is dustproof and it should survive bumps, scrapes and knocks, so those are great for peace of mind. It's even safe to wash it, should you want to bring it back to as new condition. It also means it's great for parties, so if you spill a drink over it, you're not gonna damage the speaker and you can give it a quick wash. Of course, we did test this properly and we had no issues whatsoever, and even better, it floats. A nice little addition to this speaker is if you're having a party at home, if the drinks are flowing and people want a little dance, you can activate party mode and the lights inside of the speaker and on these edges, they flash different colors in time to the music for full-on party mode. You can even customize the color of the light on the side. Now, of course, not everyone is gonna be a fan of that, myself included. I perhaps would have loved that in my early days of uni rather than now, and I'm already losing my hair, so thankfully you can turn the lights off by pressing the button on the back for three seconds. So when I read this next feature, I did have to read it twice to believe it, but you can actually sync up to 100 of these speakers. So if you're lucky enough to have 100 friends who all own this Sony portable speaker, they can all be playing the same track and flashing the same lights in the same random pattern, or the lights can actually blink in one big circle. Unbelievable feature. But perhaps more realistically, if you had a couple, you could group them all in party mode to fill a larger space, or if you have two, you can actually connect them up and use them as a stereo pair. So let's talk about battery life. Now it is actually quite impressive at a claimed 24 hour battery. In the real world, it doesn't last quite as long as that, and certainly if you're listening in party mode, it takes it down to around 14 hours. Now the little voice assistant inside the speaker can also alert you when you're at different le levels of battery life. So you can check it at any time by pressing the button on the back. Battery, about 30%. And then um, it takes about five hours to recharge the speaker from dead to full battery. And you'll use the USB-C on the back to charge the speaker. And amazingly, it actually has a USB out for charging your phone if your phone's running low. Um, and that is a feature that's quite rare for a portable speaker. And for me, that's a huge plus to be highlighted. And finally, we do need to talk about how it sounds. So we're not gonna include a sound test in this video as it is just so subjective and it never translates properly when you're watching this video on YouTube on your device at home. Um, however, when we first started playing some dance music on it, we were instantly impressed as a team. The slightly strange shaped drivers inside, which we're gonna call 
egg-shaped, takes the advantages from oval and circular shaped drivers to squeeze the best possible sound from this little speaker. Now, Sony call this an X-balance speaker unit. The non-circular shape maximizes the area of the speaker diaphragm as opposed to the usual circular diaphragm that we're used to. Sound-wise, this increases sound pressure, helping to add that extra punchy bass, which is notable alongside very low levels of distortion. Now, this design also offers better clarity and a wider sound stage, and this definitely translated into sound performance when we tested it both in the larger office space and outside. Now, on the box, it highlights that this speaker is part of the Extra Bass series. So the dual side passive radiators are optimized to reproduce clear bass sound, and Sony have stated that this model offers an increased sound pressure of around 30% and reduced distortion rate of approximately 25% to the pre uh, predecessor, the XB32. Now at 100% volume, I would say you do start to get a small amount of distortion, but only the level I would expect when you're pushing a speaker to its max volume limit. We really enjoyed the live mode too, and while it's not as if you're listening live, it does do a great job of replicating that 3D sound experience, and it uses angled speakers with DSP tech to fire out the audio to a wide area to fill your space better. We weren't sure exactly how the EQ was tweaked, but it did feel more full of life when we put on Enter Sandman by Metallica, for example. Now there is also the Sony app which can be used to tweak a few of the settings. I'd recommend just having a little play around with these settings to find the best sound performance for your type of listening. So let's cover the strengths and weaknesses of this speaker. Now first of all, the strengths are that it really does sound great. We never like to use sound quality as a strength because everyone's ears are different, but this speaker deserves an exception to that rule. It's also got a great weatherproof rating, impressive battery life, and it's good value for the sound that you get. The negatives are that the size might make it slightly too large to carry around wherever you go. It's more sort of for if you're taking it on one-off journeys or around your home and garden. Also, the lights won't appeal to everyone, but at least you can turn them off if they're not for you. So to wrap up then, is the Sony SRS XB33 portable speaker worth its £150 price tag? Now the portable speaker category has a lot of competition such as those from Ultimate Ears, Marshall, Bose and a long list more, but we think the Sony deserves pride of place on our website due to the amount of features that you get for the money and its powerful sound quality for an honest price tag. You do have the option to step up or down from the XB33, so you've got the XB43 model which is an extra £50 with an RRP of £200 and it's a step up in size and sound performance while the XB23 is £50 cheaper than this one with an RRP of £100 and it's a slightly smaller and less powerful option. I'll link these below for you to check out. Design-wise, I'll say it's maybe not as premium looking as something like the B&O A1, um, but there's nothing wrong with how it looks, it's just lacking that high-end aesthetic that some other speakers offer. But for the money, you are getting maximum bang for your buck with the features and sound quality. These speakers are definitely aimed towards the younger demographic if you're into your music and you want a speaker to listen to on the go, which is built to last and also adds a bit of fun with the lights. You should definitely shortlist the XB33 speaker if that sounds like you. So that's it for the review. If this helped you out, it would be great if you could drop a like and consider subscribing and ringing the bell if you'd like to be notified when we put out our next video. Remember, we do sell these on our website, so check it out if it's something you might be interested in. Thanks for watching as always and see you soon. box so on the box so on the box you'll notice your base which will come to it rattle yeah, I know. <laughs>